We all know that DSP is now in jail. What he liked to do was be with younger girls and pee on them. Thanks for the money, dummies. <laughs> Band, 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 band. The camera's been on the whole time. Bounce, bounce. I'm actually a virgin. <gasps> See this fucking piece of garbage disc? <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Alrighty, good morning everyone. Of course, I'm DSP and I welcome you here to the show. I hope that you're all healthy, happy, and in good spirits. And if not, just ban. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Just ban your ass. I'm not going to pay attention to you, right? I would like to start off today with a special thanks. As you know, August is my celebration 15 years as a YouTuber. The reason I bring this up is because this is my 15th anniversary as a content creator and because we're having positivity and special events and all kinds of fun things going on. There is a concerted effort by those on the internet who benefit from my misery to try to create more drama and misery. And that's a great thing, all right? I wanna say a very special thank you to all of you this week because you did not buy into the bullshit. People now have seen through DSP's nonsense, all right? Just to give you some perspective. First of all, I I get donated a mini PC. Someone out of the kindness of their heart contacted me and said, you know, with the things that it sounds like you can do with a, a PC like that, I want to donate one. Donate it immediately, send it to me. And they did. So immediately, what happens? The PC obviously is a trap. It's a troll thing where someone put in like key loggers and stuff. So here's what you guys don't know. There's a good 15 or 20 people that are constantly on my streams and they are a group that sit in a discord and they chat with each other all day, every day, talking about me, crapping on me, trying to make fun of me, trying to find ways to derail my streams and or create drama around me. No, that's gotta be an exaggeration. No, it's very true, all right? These people are crazy, they're obsessed. They sit around literally plotting stuff. And the thing is, they don't think I know it. What they don't realize, there's people who sit in their Discord channels and actually tell me about what they're talking about. Like if they're planning to do something, I know about it ahead of time because people tell me. I know who they all are. So this week, one of these things happened where an idiot shows up late to my stream. Oh no. And is demanding that I derail the entire stream to go back and talk about a topic about that mini PC that was at the beginning of the stream. Lavinia has been spamming the stream chat for an hour. Moderators have warned her to not do it. She kept doing it anyway. So now it's time to address the very important comment from Lavinia. You ready for this? You want to address how you treated me like a dunce and replayed out your intro for me? Let's have another special restarting of the podcast this morning, two days in a row for Lavinia, since she wants me to go back and readdress it. So here we go. All right, we're not going to do that. Stay off my streams because I don't want you here. That didn't happen. That's not me. It's scumbags making stuff up to try to create drama. I make light of it, I joke around, and everyone laughs and has a good time. Here's the truth, they're trying to basically derail my content, right? What I should have done if I was smart, which I'm not, I should never entertain their bullshit. Just ban your ass. But instead, I entertain it, I read the comments nicely because I'm trying to be nice and open and maintain a positive atmosphere on my streams. So basically, they try to turn this into, oh, see, Phil disrespects his fans and Phil doesn't care and I'm hostile to people for no good reason. None of that happened. Literally none of it. Lavinia, you sat here demanding my attention during the time that wasn't even Q&A get banned and don't come back you're an obnoxious individual and we don't want your kind around here so fuck off and kiss my ass he basically exploded on the fans and insulted them and called them virgins and losers and all of this drama orgasm um it's true it absolutely happened it's documented it's public I did it I had to do it at that time I was desperate I tested out my mini PC on Sunday night and I found out it's okay Skyrim didn't look great Visage didn't look great they didn't look good it's like well I'm probably not going to use this thing then, which is exactly what I said at the beginning of all of this. So, actually, I was right all along, but that was only one of the things that happened this week, okay? Earlier this week, we talked about Mortal Kombat 1 coming up and the future of fighting games on my streams. And I'm like, listen, Mortal Kombat 1 has a beta. People want to see me play the beta, but then come to find out the Mortal Kombat 1 beta is not cross-platform. So... We already know statistically from Street Fighter 6, almost no one is buying fighting games on Xbox. 
Street Fighter 6 had like only 10 to 15 of the console player base buy the game on Xbox. So can you imagine if I buy MK1 on Xbox, I'm going to have like the same people playing me every time. It'll be boring as shit. So what do I do? If I buy it on PS5, that's all well and good. Problem is my joystick on PS5 is very old. It's a nine-year-old joystick. The components are worn out. It's not going to be as responsive as I want. It does have a significant amount of input lag. Basically, I presented a situation to the, to the audience on my podcast. I said, I'm seriously considering converting all my fighting games over to PS5. I I won't have to worry about, oh no, it's not cross-platform and now I'm stuck with a, a tiny player base. In addition, it looked like PS5 had quite a lot of great joysticks made for it. So I presented the case to my audience. If I do a big investment, I would like your support. Meaning, hey, if someone wants to contribute to help me with this, please do. Please continue to support all of my fighting game streams. The last thing I would want to do is invest hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and then all of a sudden the attention dwindles, and now I wasted all that money. Oh my god. I never outright asked anyone to buy me a joystick or anything like that. Never happened. Here's the deal. This is my joystick that I have for PlayStation. This joystick is worn. You can even see there's corrosion. That's going to be a giant problem. I can tell you right now, those buttons are kind of shot. It's really worn out. So, hey, buy me a joystick, man. So, I made a big decision over the week. I think I'm going to make the investment. All in all, when you add it up, it's over 500 bucks. It's over $500 to do all this. So, I do it. And immediately, oh my God, he spent money? How dare Phil spend money? I'm serious. Like, they actually think I'm not allowed to spend any money. Can't spend a dollar on anything, right? Even when it's investment in the business. I'm buying equipment for my content. But that's not good enough. That's not allowed. Oh, how dare Phil go out and spend all that money and beg for people to pay for it. Never happened. If cost wasn't a factor, I'd do it immediately. So, if any of you are interested, you want to help out with getting this joystick or, you know, the cost of rebuying Street Fighter 6, I'd be open to anyone who wants to help out and chip in. Buy me a fucking joystick and ship it to my house. If you like the fact that I invested in it, please support the streams. Throw a tip, donate some gifted memberships. That will help to give back for all the investment I just did. So, that narrative is destroyed. So now they move on to the next narrative. What's the next narrative? Oh, well, you see, even though Phil invested in his business, that's bad. He should have bought a blood test for his cat because his cat is sick. What? Oh, man, look at this uh, this cat on his deathbed sitting on my, my uh, lap right now. Oh, my goodness. He's so bad off, guys. Let's rush him right now for a blood test. Oh, all right, buddy. <clears throat> Onto the floor. <laughs> Last month, I told a one-off story on my podcast that I went to a vet and this vet was very unprofessional and tried to scam me. This vet comes out in full MLB garb, gloves, helmet, cleats, everything as if they're a professional player. He cracks Jasper into the trees a mile behind the house. So now Jasper is lost. Wow. I was very upset with the way I was treated at this vet. And essentially, we had an actual meeting with this vet. We talked with the management about it. And the management agreed with us. The entire thing was wrong. Yes, they were trying to upsell us on a $300 blood test that is not needed on our cat. We were outright told, yeah, you're right. Right? Your cat did not need that blood test. You were being told lies. So we know he doesn't need it. This was 100% this vet trying to outsell to make money. Who cares about that? These idiots actually think that they're vets. You see, if a vet tells you that you should have a $300 blood test for your pet, you should just do it. The fact that you wouldn't do that for Jasper, but you bought a joystick instead, shows that you don't love your pet. Very true. <laughs> they're morons. They're completely insane. They will do anything to create a false conspiracy theory narrative to try to make me look bad. And they've been trying all week long. First, it was the mini PC bullshit. Then it was this joystick thing. Then it was a Jasper thing. It's insane. I had someone come to my stream last night and contribute and say, I hope that this helps Jasper. What are you talking about? They actually had watched detractor content and thought that Jasper was sick. If you haven't noticed this week, despite the fact that these idiotic people are constantly trying to say negative things about me. None of it has affected me or my content this week. The content's been good. We're keeping the drama out of the chat and the support's been good. You know, I have zero complaints. But you may have noticed we had a big dip in members. I have a goal to hit 500 members. I know we can do that today. If you support the fact that I'm investing in this and upgrading my setup, become a member or give memberships today. Please, let's hit 500 members by the end of today. That's income that helps a lot. Big Papa Phil just gifted a membership. Thank you, Big Papa Phil, who immediately acted on that initiative. Now, there's something else that I want to say. I received an email this morning that is so pertinent that I wanted to read it here live on the stream today. I know this is a, it's an amazing coincidence. Hello, Phil. I just want you to know I originally found you through troll content. From what I am seeing, you are becoming more and more admirable every day. So the fact that they are constantly doing crazy amounts of mental gymnastics and logic jumps 
to spin new narratives is becoming increasingly laughable with every passing day. They're becoming more angry and jaded as their narrative continues to fail and negatively affect you or sway people away from supporting you. The content you put out is some of the most consistent and well thought out content I think I have ever consumed. You clearly care about what your viewers think. The trolls and LARPers, I don't know what he means by LARPers, think it's cool or funny when they persuade or trick you into playing something that your general actual fans probably wouldn't care that much about. I'm loving your content. You know, they say that you make detractors out of your fans. Well, this is one detractor that you actually made a fan. And I hope that this message finds you well. Thank you. That's a really nice message. Sorry that things get derailed. Sorry that idiots try to create white noise narratives outside the streams. If you just stay here with me and you chill with me and we have a good time together, none of that shit matters. Don't watch the bullshit periphery around on YouTube. The idiots getting clickbait views and being toxic. In reality, none of it should exist. I'm going to be Mr. Frivolous Lawsuit, and I'm going to slap lawsuits around on every idiot on the internet who benefits from making fun of me. If I disappeared from the planet today, you'd still have meaningful Dark Side Phil content to watch. Melt your brain away and become a zombie watching crap. You can watch a playthrough I did in 2010, you can watch a playthrough I did yesterday, you can watch a review I did five years ago, you can watch a stream I did 10 years ago. None of it's pertinent anymore. So what are we doing today? First of all, PlayStation 5, Street Fighter 6 for the first time ever. You have never seen me play it on PS5 before, you're not gonna see much difference. It looks exactly the same, okay? So that's today's daytime stream is Blanca. I apologize in advance. That's really all I have to say today. So, let us now get to the pertinent stuff. Tips. Movie Maniac did a super chat and says, Who the hell do you think you're talking to, Phil? Okay, bye. Prisoner did a super chat. He says, It's $25 for a Street Fighter VI Ninja Turtle skin. You're serious? It's $25 for a Ninja Turtle skin? Donate it immediately. Send it to me. All right, guys. I think it's time to adjourn. Thank you for a great podcast. Let's adjourn. Sound good? All right. Jasper really likes my new joystick. He's rubbing his face on it. I'm serious. He's rubbing his face all over my new joystick. <laughs> Disgusting. Stop that right now. But anyway, I'm hot shit.